Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone, welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be looking at switch statements. And switch statements are basically a multi-way branch statement, or pretty much it's a way for you to easily execute different parts of a code based on the values that you have. So all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you guys are having some trouble, just go over there and check it out. So let's go ahead and say we have, and now we can do this with just making like a private, come on, private static string animal equals dog. Or what we can do is we can actually go ahead and say a private static string return animal, right? And then we can just go ahead and return dog down here. So we can do it, we can use either one of these. So we'll show using either one of these. The only thing is though, is so, well, I'll get to this. So let's go ahead and say switch, and let's just say animal. So basically what this does is now what we can do is we can have cases. And the cases are basically saying, they're more, think of them as if statements, right? So we're switching through all of these cases. So we have case, and let's say equals cat. So now if our case equals cat, we could run something. So we can go ahead and say system dot out dot print line animal. And now if we wanted to, we could go ahead and break this so that way our case ends. Now we can go ahead and create a, a new case. And we can just go ahead and say case and let's say equals elephant. And now we can go ahead and just do the same thing. System done out dot print. Um, so we'll say animal plus r large. Just so we know that there is a difference here. Plus r. Uh, let's just say sneaky. R sneaky. And then let's just copy this. Let's change this to dog. R man's best friend. And now what we can do is we can actually go ahead and create what's called a default, meaning it doesn't equal any of our statements that we've listed above, right? So we can go ahead and say system dot out dot print. Um, and then we can say is not in our cases. Cool. So now, and just to keep in mind, any all of these cases have to be constants, right? So I wouldn't be able to go ahead and say return animal here because it's it's not going to return a constant it's going to return something that can always change right so it, it, all the cases have to be constants so just keep that in mind so now if we run this you can see there um that oh so we didn't break it so that's what happens when you don't break it it'll keep running through so let's just make sure we break this or else it's gonna not finish and now we don't need to break the default because it's the last thing on the list. So now if we go ahead, we can see there that it found a dog in our thing and it said dog, our man's best friend. If we change this to cat, cats are sneaky. And let's just say we change this to lion. And now we can see there that lion is not in our cases. But now let's say we wanted to use this method or this, uh, yeah, this method down here, which was return animal which we can do, um, but let's just go ahead and say, let's make this an unconstant and let's say animal uh, and, and then let's just uh, get rid of that. And let's just say return animal. Now we can have um, variable down in here, but remember just cases have to be constant. So now we can just go ahead and say return animal and we can go ahead and run this now and we can see here dogs is man's best friend we can change this to elephant run this again elephants are large and then we'll just go ahead and say an otter we'll run this and we can see there that otter is not in our cases so that's all i got for you guys today if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe and i will see you guys on thursday